Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about your periodic health checkup, sometimes known as your annual physical. During the COVID pandemic, many of my patients have been worried that their health maintenance may have been delayed, that they're overdue for their annual physical. I'm here to tell you, it's okay. You see, even before COVID, the concept of the annual physical has been changing. It is no longer annual, and it is no longer a mandatory physical examination. Instead, it has become the periodic health checkup. Today, we're gonna to go through the components of a periodic health checkup, and if and when you should get one. In future videos, we're gonna go into more depth about the other components of a periodic health checkup, such as screening, blood work, and vaccinations. Now, before we get started, I do wanna say a couple of things. First of all, all of the information here that we're talking about is gonna be for the low risk or average risk individual. If you have risk factors that put you at a higher risk level, such as your own personal history of having these diseases, this video may not apply to you. I'll also say that all of this is just what I do. What other doctors do might be different, but it doesn't mean that they are right or wrong. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, I would recommend that you speak to me if I'm your doctor, or that you go speak with your own family doctor. That's what we're all here for. Let's quickly run through the components of the periodic health checkup. First, we go through your list of chronic conditions. Then we go through a list of your new medical problems. We then go through your medications. We do a brief physical examination if we need to. And finally, we screen for things that we need to screen for. Regarding your chronic conditions, we go through each of them one by one. And we also check your lab work to make sure that everything is going smoothly. I would also love to know how much exercise you're doing, whether you're adhering to your set diet, and whether you still smoke or do recreational drugs. If you're ready to quit, we're always here to help you. Next, regarding your new complaints. Usually you'll have more time during your periodic checkup than a standard medical visit. And so it's a good time to bring up your list of medical conditions that you wish for me to go through with you. During your visit, we'll address as many of these new concerns as we can. And these new concerns can be medical complaints, they can be psychosocial complaints. For example, I would love to learn about what's been going on in your life over the last year and what's been bothering you from a mental health perspective. If you're taking medications, we can go through your medications. We'll see which ones are still working, which ones are no longer working, and can probably be cut out. I'm not somebody who likes to prescribe medications, and if I can take you off medications, I will always do so. But we have to do so in a safe manner, so the regular checkup will give us an opportunity to review your medications. We then usually do a brief physical examination, and this consists of taking a blood pressure, checking your height and weight, and for patients who I have never met before, I listen to your heart and your lungs. I also will give you a chance to show me any skin changes that you may have noticed. And remember, we're looking for skin lesions that rapidly grow within a manner of three months, or that look like the ugly duckling lesion on your skin. Finally, the last component of a regular health checkup is screening. We screen for diseases that we can catch early and prevent you from getting them. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. You see, there's a difference between screening and case finding. Case finding is when you have a symptom and we need to diagnose its cause. It's why you go to the doctor. Screening, on the other hand, is when you don't have any symptoms. And that's why it's hard, because we gotta figure out whether you have a disease when you don't have the symptoms for it. Now, it turns out that only some diseases can be screened for, because we need to have a test that is reasonable and relatively painless for you to do. This test must also be able to accurately diagnose the condition that we're trying to prevent. And we must also have a treatment that we can use to act on the results of the screening test. And finally, that treatment must actually be scientifically demonstrated to be able to prolong the quality and duration of your life. Otherwise, why would we even screen? We don't have the tools yet, as of 2021, to be able to screen for all diseases, but we are able to screen for some diseases. The diseases that we can screen for are as follows. High blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, osteoporosis, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and prostate cancer. Let's summarize everything down to a series of key points. First, starting at age 20, everybody should be doing their blood pressures at least once a year to check if it's high. In Alberta, women starting at age 25 should get a pap smear. If you're younger than 40 years old, you may need more than just those two things. But speak with your family doctor for advice regarding your specific situation. If you're between 40 to 50 years old, 
consider getting your first set of screening lab work at age 40, and then go periodically, maybe every year or two, to recheck your labs and see your family doctor about what else may apply in terms of screening to your particular situation. If you're between 50 and 75 years old, definitely get a periodic health checkup. There's a lot we can do to help you prevent disease and help you live your best life. If going to see your family doctor once a year will help you remember, then come see us once a year. If by any circumstances you happen to miss your periodic or annual checkups, for example because of COVID, it's usually not a big deal. Again, periodic doesn't have to mean annual. If you're older than 75 years old, you fall out of the age range for most low risk or average risk screening procedures. So you may not need regular periodic health checkups, but again, check with your family doctor for advice regarding your specific personal circumstances. Most importantly, keep a family doctor who knows you. I may be a bit biased, but I dare say that we're the best all-round disease protection you have. Well, that's it for this video, where we've summarized the basic components of a periodic health checkup. For explanations of our screening tests, the blood work that we do on a regular basis, and also for the vaccinations that we should get after childhood, please check out my other videos. Until next time, take it easy and stay healthy.